let's talk about five free ways to promote your YouTube videos as a small YouTube channel to guarantee more views in 2022. I've used these exact strategies on both of my channels, which has resulted in multiple viral videos which just means more views than subscribers, including this video, which has over a million views on a channel with only 29,000 subscribers. And these are guaranteed to work even if you have zero subscribers right now. And the first one is Instagram. So it's actually easier than ever now to promote your videos using Instagram, as you no longer need the swipe up hack because Instagram just unlocked the link sticker for all users even if you don't have 10,000 followers. Now, before you start posting the link sticker on all your stories, you need to be strategic because if you don't, people won't actually click or watch your videos, which means no views for you. So here are the four steps to promote using Instagram. The first is you just need to stay engaged with your audience on a consistent basis. This means don't post and ghost whenever you need something. Actually talk to your audience and get to know them. Your viewers like seeing you show up in your stories because it's kind of like hanging out with their best friend. And when you're more consistent, you build a bond which solidifies that like, trust, no factor which all successful influencers have. This also increases the likelihood that they're going to click on the link because you deliver value to them consistently, not just because you want something. Okay, so step number two is to make sure you tease your upcoming video. Share a bit of the behind the scenes of you working on the video. Tell them how excited you are for them to see the video that you're editing. Or you can even show them content in the video such as clips in your editing software, the food you just did if it's a recipe video, or even supplies if you're doing a DIY makeover project. This ensures that you're implanting into their mind that you have a really exciting video come up. And the more excited you are about your work, the more excited your audience is going to be to see that work. Okay, so number three is have an engagement sticker 24 hours before your video goes live. Now, this does not have to be related to the video at all. You can do something as simple as just asking them how their morning is. Uh, did they drink enough water today? Or to have like a fun game or poll that they can respond to because the easier it is for them to just click on a sticker, the better it is for you. The more the audience responds and engages to your stories, the more Instagram will push your story set to the front of the line so that the next time the viewer opens up their app, you're gonna be the first story that they see, which is going to help you when it comes to step number four, which is actually promote your video when it goes live. Now, do not just post a thumbnail. You can, but it's not gonna work as well. You wanna get on camera and say something like, okay, you know that video I was working on last week? It is finally here and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So I'm gonna be hanging out in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Tap the link here and come say hi. This reminds them that they were excited to know about that video you were making because you shared it behind the scenes. And you also placed a sense of urgency by sharing how long you're going to respond back to comments because people like talking to creators. Also, it may take a few days for your app to upgrade to the sticker feature. So if you don't have it, place your handle for them to click on and just say something like click here to go to the link in my bio to watch my new video. Now, speaking of features that have recently been unlocked, if you have at least 500 YouTube subscribers, then you'll wanna use your community tab to promote your new YouTube video. And just like Instagram sticker links, you'll want to be strategic on how you use your community tab so people actually click to watch your video. Your community post actually goes out to more than just those who are subscribed to your channel. It shows up on the YouTube homepage for those who are not subscribed to your channel, just like your videos show up on the homepage, which is heavily reliant on how others engage with your content and if your content keeps people on the platform. And although there is a number of different ways that you can use the community posts, such as regular posts with photos, you can even share videos, I do find that polls naturally just get more engagement as it's easy for somebody to come across this and simply just click on the answer that they like, which means that YouTube is going to push it out to the homepage and expose your videos to the people who interacted with your videos. This includes the people who didn't subscribe, but maybe clicked on your poll to vote. And of course, I do like to share my videos after I upload. Now, something I see a lot of people do that's a huge mistake is they'll share it as soon as they upload the video. So the video goes out and then they're gonna share on the community post that they'd have a video that went out. But what this is gonna do, it's going to stack your announcement. So they're going to see the regular video and then they're going to see your um, your community post about your video because this does show up in your subscription feed as well, especially on YouTube's app. So what you want to do is schedule it a couple of hours after. So I like to post first thing in the morning. And so I let my video go out at 7 a.m. And then I schedule my community post sharing my video to go out between 2 and 5 p.m. I basically just look at my YouTube analytics and I like to see when my audience is actually online. 
online. So again, if I'm posting at 7 a.m., I know to post again around 12, and then there's nothing really at night. So this is the time frames I'm gonna post, and I wanna make sure that I'm hitting all of these people that are coming onto the platform. But if I do it at the same time, it's only gonna show to these people that are on at seven, and then it could get lost in the shuffle for anybody else that comes between eight and 2 p.m. Also, I do notice that sharing a regular post like this doesn't always get the same amount of traction as if I was to share it as a GIF. So I create these in Canva and I just take a snippet of my video, have it in GIF form, and then I'll have a little snippet of what my video is about, saying that it's live, and then I'll have a link to that video so they can simply click on it. Plus this does take up more real estate, so when you do land on the homepage, especially for people who are not subscribed to your channel, they're gonna be more attracted to look at something like this, that's a GIF, versus just looking at something like this, which is just promotion of your YouTube video. Next is to engage with other creators in your community. Now, there are a few different ways that you can do this, and one of my absolute favorites is a small YouTuber, and what I did to get my first 100 subscribers and my first 30 days of launching a brand new YouTube channel is comment on other channels' videos. Again, there's a specific way to do this to increase your odds of it actually working, but the best thing to do is pick two to three channels in your niche. And turn on your bell notifications for those channels or simply just understand when they upload. Now, if they upload multiple times a week, you don't need to do this on every single video, but at least be consistent with once a week going onto one of their videos and leaving a comment. Now, do not just comment something generic as this is not going to help you. You'll want to leave something of value for the creator and the creator's community. Also, see if there are any comments that were left that you can interact with. This helps ensure that you interact with the creator's community and it increases the odds the creator and or the viewer clicking to check out your channel, which again means more views for you. And because you're going to click on your channel name, you need to ensure that your channel is actually set up correctly. So this way they watch your videos and they subscribe to your channel, which I actually have a free YouTube channel optimization checklist, which will walk you through exactly how to set up your channel for success. This way, when somebody clicks on your channel, they're going to be more likely to watch your videos and subscribe. Link is in the description box so you can get that for yourself. Okay, so once you have your YouTube channel set up correctly, you're going to want to look for channels that have a similar audience audience to you and YouTube makes it easier than ever. So what you're going to do is go into your creator studio and go to your channel analytics. Then you're going to go to where it says audience and scroll down to where it says other channels your audience watches. YouTube has established these channels being similar to you due to an overlapping audience. So when people do click on your channel, as long as everything is set up correctly and you deliver high value content, they're gonna be more inclined to actually subscribe to your channel if they're not already. Other ways to engage with creators and promote your YouTube videos absolutely free to their audience is to collaborate with those creators or join other creators' live stream panels. You can also invite creators to your live stream panels and ask them to promote the stream to their audience for a better turnout for everyone. Just make sure you promote other people's streams as well, so this way it's a win-win for everybody. Okay, and before you leave and roll your eyes because you've definitely heard me say this next one before, don't go anywhere because the last tip to promote your YouTube channel for free is something no one does and is better than handing out business cards to strangers. But the best way to promote your YouTube videos for free and get views even if you have zero subscribers is through YouTube search. When I created this channel, I ensured that my first 30 days on this channel was all about search. And my very first video had over 100 views on day one, even though I had zero subscribers, which was a lot better than my first channel, which had eight views on day one with zero subscribers. Now, I'm not just talking about YouTube search. You'll wanna promote your videos through Google search as well. And again, there is a few ways to do this. Number one is use TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer tool to see what's trending on Google. Although YouTube is owned by Google, viewers will search differently on YouTube than they do on Google. Just because video content is placed on YouTube and you search for videos slightly different than you'll search for websites or blogs. So for example, on this video, if I was doing promote YouTube channel free, I'm gonna wanna look over here to see what the trend is, not just on YouTube, but on Google as well. And something I like to do is switch it to 12 months. The reason why is because it actually allows me to see the overall trend in the year. So I know if I post a video now, if the dotted lines are going down, that means it is a downward trend. 
But if I see that the dotted lines are going up, that means it's an upward trend, which means if I post the video right now, I'm going to be more likely to get the maximum number of views because I'm on an upward trend. You don't want to post a video when the trend is at its peak or when the trend is going down because it's going to take a while to get views. You can also use these down here where it says related searches to really understand what other people are searching for based off of this. This is basically like if you were to purchase something on Amazon and they say based off your purchase, other people purchase this. It's the exact same thing. So if you find that this is too competitive, you can try to use one of these instead. And then again, just make sure you're not only looking at the YouTube trend, but you're also looking at the Google trend to get a better idea of if it's going to be trending downwards or if it's going to be trending upwards. You can also gain Google search and get more views on your videos if you embed them into your website or into a blog because these are SEO based and Google likes these. So if you have a website, make sure to have your YouTube videos embedded there so that the site visitor can view your videos, which gives you more views. Or you can use your blog to transcribe your videos, which is going to definitely help you rank higher in Google search. And it's going to be an extra traffic source to your YouTube videos, giving you more views. And if you're looking for the ultimate external traffic source, you're going to want to get a QR code, which I have one that's absolutely free. Now, before I explain this, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know exactly what a QR code is, but I do know that it looks like this. And when you scan it, it takes you to a website that you have connected to your QR code. So going back to Instagram, I use what's known as flow code, which also has flow pages. And this is for my link and bio tool. This allows me to host all of my links, including my website, my YouTube videos, my emails, and even my YouTube channel all in one plate. And with flow pages, you actually get a QR code that people can scan. Now, I know when I first started YouTube, I was so nervous to tell people I was actually a YouTuber because to me, it just, it sounded silly. But now that I understand the business size of being a YouTuber and all of the work that goes into it, I have a bit more confidence in sharing exactly what I do. But I still don't just say that I'm a YouTuber or I'm an influencer. I share my value proposition with people. So. In public, if I am talking to someone and they ask what I do, I'll say something like, I share information about postpartum health, including breastfeeding tips, mental health advice, and what to expect your first year after birth to help new moms navigate motherhood a bit easier. Best part is I host all of my videos absolutely free on YouTube. Is that something you'd like to see? If they say yes, I'll have them scan my QR code, which takes them to my link in bio and allows them to see my YouTube videos, which helps me get more views. Or you can set a destination to go directly to YouTube, which I highly recommend. Okay, so what's really cool is if you click on your QR code, you can actually shop prints, which means that you can print these out into stickers and place them on things like your merchandise. You can make them into rugs if you wanted to, make them into wall art. You can have them as menus, place them on business cards, or even place them on storefronts. Although if you don't own the storefront, don't just randomly place your sticker on different people's stores. Make sure to talk to the manager or they're just going to take it down and you can probably get in trouble for vandalizing. Something else you can do is save it. So if you go ahead and right click on here, you can go ahead and save your image. You want to place this QR code wherever you have access to your own things. So email newsletters, websites, blog posts, social media icons, whatever it is. So this way people can easily scan it and be taken directly to your YouTube channel. It definitely takes some time getting comfortable sharing that in public. So let me know in the comments the most professional way you would explain to someone the type of content you make on YouTube without just saying that you're a YouTuber or that you're an influencer. And don't forget to check out this video next for more ways to promote your YouTube videos absolutely free using Instagram. Now get out there, make some content, and let's grow together.